the reason why I say it's okay because what happens is you begin to live your life in a cage. You become a bird that's trapped in a cage that has no lock. All right, all right, all right. You gonna learn today. Hey y'all, what's up? So it's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with part four of our forgiveness teaching series, okay? And the last three are um, more of my favorite ones because it's really speaking about experience and revelation that the Lord has given me um, that he's allowing me to give you. And so this one is titled Forgive Yourself For, okay? And obviously you guys can fill in the blanks about what it is that you need to forgive yourself for. But over the last three parts of this series, I mainly focused on other people. But how many of you guys know that it's impossible for you to give someone something that you haven't even given yourself? And as much as what other people did to you can keep you in bondage, the way that you see what you've done can also keep you in bondage. And so very briefly, I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of forgiving yourself and what does that look like? Okay, so obviously I would highly, highly, highly recommend you watch part one through three so that you can get the method down so you can understand what forgiveness is so that you can even see why you need to forgive. So all of those sentiments, all of those teachings ring true here. The only thing is, is that we've turned our focus from external and what people have done to us. And we more so look at ourselves and what we've done even to others or even to ourselves and how we process that. Okay. And so I kind of want to talk about um, a scenario. So let's say, for example, um, you have a bad track record with picking men to be with. And it's gotten to the point where every single person you choose or women use whatever every single person that you have chosen to be with you always encounter this issue there always seems to be like um, something that goes wrong where this person breaks your heart or you you know it, it just never ends well and you always tell yourself okay one more time but even when you try again it keeps happening, right? And let's say this was a p pattern. And honestly, it could only have happened twice, but honestly, heartbreak only needs to happen once in order for it to create a cyclic pattern to keep you bound. You don't need to go through multiple heartbreaks in order for you to keep carrying that trauma on. All, you to, all it takes is one, okay? And that's something I wanna emphasize. All it takes is one. So no matter where you're at, that one situation, whatever it is, it could be a relationship, it can be some decisions you made with finances, it can be some decisions you made on the job, it can be some decisions you've made with food, um, with certain drug choices you've made in your life, things like that, whatever it is, um, God has already forgiven you for it, right? But you haven't. So what does that look like? What happens is this. So God showed me this the other day and I, my mind was blown. So I'm gonna talk about two things. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is what God showed me the other day. And so I will always notice, and this is personal, when people will come up to me and prophesy, they will say all of these amazing things, you know, some things, correction, whatever. But for the most part, it's like all of these amazing things that the Lord is saying. And I'm sitting there thinking like, God, who are they talking about? <laughs> And what I believe is so beautiful is God showed me that's forgiveness, where he will wipe our slate clean, but we haven't. So when we're hearing these good things that the Lord is saying about us, how proud in this, we've already asked him to forgive us. And we know he forgave us, but we haven't forgiven ourselves. So though God has released and wiped the slate clean, we haven't. And so what happens is you keep yourself bound to an old version of yourself that the Lord has already set free by forgiveness, right? So that's the first thing. Um, the reason why you wanna forgive yourself is if you don't forgive yourself, you keep yourself bound to an old perception of yourself, okay? And it keeps you from keeping up with God, knowing what God is doing, how he's moving, because you're like, God, you can't be doing that for me because I, 
you got to release that and let it go, right? Because God has forgiven you. He's already wiped the slate clean. But the other thing that kind of builds on that is like, not only does it keep you entrapped with an old version of yourself, but even your life begins to reflect cycles and patterns. What are cycles and patterns? Just imagine yourself getting on a merry-go-round and never getting off, like literally. You, and let's say for example, the uh, for a moment in time, you just keep seeing the same people, the same stuff, the same things. That's pretty much what happens when your life is on a cycle. But when you don't forgive yourself, you're on a cycle. You keep seeing the same people, the same things. Now, it may not be the same exact person, but that same spirit is going to operate in that person or certain things like that. And it's because you haven't re released yourself from the cycle. And one thing that I um, recognized with the wisdom that the Lord gave me concerning this is that if you don't forgive yourself, what happens is every single time a new situation comes up remember you're entrapped in this old version of yourself so you're going to self-sabotage you're going to move in a way that the old version of you would move you're going to do all of these things old in a new situation and you wonder why you get the same result and it's because you haven't even freed yourself from the past situations. You're like, oh, I'm going to mess this up. Oh, it's going to do this. And then what happened? You mess it up. And it's not because you actually were going to mess it up. It's because you haven't forgiven yourself for the previous times that you've messed it up. That's going back to that scenario with the guys. You haven't forgiven yourself for the previous times you've messed up. You haven't forgiven yourself. You haven't released yourself from that persona you had of yourself you haven't released yourself from that idea of how you saw yourself and until you do that actual release guess what happens the cycle is going to keep going okay and so what even happens is let's say for example you pick friends but then you end up picking the wrong friends they betray you they hurt you now because you haven't one let's say you forgave them for what they did you're like whatever god i understand but let's say you haven't forgiven yourself. When any new person comes in, now that you've forgiven those people, you know, okay, I'm open to letting people in. But because you haven't forgiven yourself, you don't trust that you're making the right decision. You're like, God, send me a million confirmations. You don't even trust that you can make the right decision. And even if you do make a decision and it just so happens to be wrong, that's okay. Because let me tell you why. The reason why I say it's okay, because what happens is you begin to live your life in a cage. You become a bird that's trapped in a cage that has no lock. You become a bird that's trapped in a cage that has no lock. You have yourself in there. All you got to do is push out and go. Go try that new relationship, God willing. Go try that friendship. And I say relationship because, you know, that's a little bit different. But go do this. Go do that. It's like when you go through something in the past, you put yours, because you haven't forgiven yourself, you kind of put yourself in this prison and you're like, well, I can't do that because it is, oh, last time I did this. No, you know what? God, I believe I learned from that experience. So I'm going to give this friendship my all. If it turns out to bite me and does this, then Lord, I know that there's something that I missed, but I'm not going to allow the unforgiveness I have towards myself to keep me from living life, from experiencing new things. Too often do I meet people that say, well, yeah, I don't do that because this. And I'm like, how long ago was that? <laughs> and even I had to talk to myself that way. Girl, even if it was last week that that happened, you need to get back up and keep walking because nobody is going to trap you in an emotional cycle I don't like merry-go-rounds. I like roller coasters. So my life gotta go woo, 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 and that's okay. It's a part of it. Count it all joy. Always remember life will get better. It's gonna get better. No matter the weapon, it will not prosper. Okay, but that was quick dance break. But no, for real. It's literally as simple as that. Um, this is why you need to forgive yourself because you can release people from a prison but still be living in the prison yourself where every decision you make is based off of something you haven't forgiven yourself for. When instead of be like, okay, I did do this last time, but this time is a little bit different. So I'm just going to try it out. Like if it, if it doesn't work, like, you know, quit living in this cage. 
that has no lock. Like, at least when Matilda was in the chokey, she had no way out. And so the lady took, like, come on. Work with me here, okay? You aren't really locked up. You just haven't forgiven yourself yet. So, um, I know with this one, I didn't dive deep into any scripture. But this is wisdom and revelation, okay? And it's based off God's wisdom and knowledge and what he's shown and told me. So I pray that for those of you who find yourself in that situation where you're struggling to forgive yourself, that you let go and live. Get up and live again, okay? Period. And if you want to know how you can forgive yourself, go back to the previous video, part three, and um, where I said, can forgiveness be your cure? And look at it from your perspective. Like, look at it as if you're the other person and not another person being the other person and work through the steps that way. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today.